Hello everyone and welcome back to another Apostles of Machinjuka podcast. I am your host Masbaba Charles and I would just like to say thank you to everyone who's managed to listen, who's managed to engage with us and we hope that this podcast are truly helping you in your journey to getting closer to God. So for this week the topic that we're going to be discussing is what is a prophet? Especially when we speak about Maswa, where you know it's a place where you hear there's a lot of prophets, there's a lot of miracles, a lot of prayers that happen. So today I just sort of want to get into what is a prophet and what makes a prophet and sort of the works that a prophet is meant to do and their responsibilities to people as well. So the first thing that I would just like to say when it comes to prophets, when I say the word prophet, it can mean both male or females. There's no prophetess, it's just prophet. That's, that's the word that we use or you hear the mporofita. That's what as in Shona, that's how we pronounce it. So that's just the single word that we use for any person who has been ordained as a prophet to do the work of God. So firstly, I would just like to say, when we say about a prophet doing the work of God, we should always emphasize that it is God who does the miracles. It is God who does the works and it should be glory that is given to him. If God uses a prophet in order to heal someone, it is God who has done it. If God uses his prophet in order to let the blind see, then it is God who has done it and we should always give glory back to him. And we should, but we should also appreciate the body of the person who has been used because as I get more into this, you'll realize sort of the works that a prophet has to do and sort of like the strict regime that they have to keep to themselves in order to make sure that they themselves as a vessel of God is, order, is, is clean and holy in order to allow the works of God to keep progressing. So that's just something I'll just like to state to people because you'd hear people saying, oh, this prophet, you know, did this or this prophet has got the power, or this prophet, this. But it is not about the prophet. It is always about the one who is actually giving them the authority to do that works. So I feel, believe that, especially when it comes to prophets, that credit should always be given back to God. And you should always try to push it away from yourself as much as possible so that people will realize that there is someone above you and there's someone who's actually giving you the strength to do this and this is the one that they should always worship and give back glory to so with that being said so in apostles of of Muchinjuka, when we speak about prophets these are people who have been verified and they've got you've gone through sort of a trial period of which the holy spirit starts to work on you and then the elders that are usually in the church they'll be like oh we have someone that is starting to do the works of God and we can see that they're starting to grow on levels and they're becoming the level of which they can become a prophet. And then they'll be like, okay, that's fine. So they agree with all the other elders together and then they'll be like, oh, we have to travel and we have to go to different branches or to different, you know, such um, different members of Masowe or different parts of Masowe, whether they be Jichishanu or Dobingu or Chuku, it doesn't really matter. You, what you do is you travel with those person and then they go and then they allow the works of God to be done through them and then that's where they can be verified as a prophet. So back in the days, in the olden days, what they used to do, they used to be say like the three mountains that you'd go to. And these were three places that people would go sort of when they started to work in the Holy Spirit. And they were going to be verified as a prophet. And they would go to these places and then they would do the works. And then the people who were seasoned prophets and elders in the works of the Holy Spirit would observe them. And once they finish observing them, then they would say, okay, this person is at this stage or this person is not quite there yet. So they need to do prayers like this in order to get to the stage that they, are, that they need to be at in order for them to be verified as a prophet. And this process had so many you know so many benefits because it didn't mean just anybody who first started you know speaking with tongues was then classified to be a prophet but it meant that they were given that time in order to grow and to learn because one of the things that happened is that if you're someone who's used by the holy spirit quite early you become very ignorant and you can believe that oh there's and I don't need to learn anything or I can do anything by myself. But this process actually helped people in order to become, you know, seasoned 
prophets people who actually knew the works of god and realized that as a prophet you should always be in prayer as a prophet you should always lead by example that it is a position of leadership where people look up to you not simply because of the miracles that you are doing but people will start looking up to you in every aspect of your life so you must learn how to conduct yourself you must learn how to speak you must learn how to address people so these are the sort of the training that people would go through and i believe that this is something that people don't actually know when it comes to my soul that there is this sort of process that goes on in order to build prophets and it is something that is continuous as well it is continuous development when you are in my soul you should always grow as a prophet that you start at one stage and you grow and you grow and you grow and something as well that people just don't seem to realize and people just don't seem to know is that prophets do not charge money you cannot charge for the work of God. You cannot charge for what has been given free to you by the Holy Spirit. And then you want to charge the people of God. So as a prophet, one of your the principles, especially for us in Apostles of Muchinjikwa, is that you are not allowed to take anyone's money for any prayer that you have to do. No matter how big, no matter how small. Whether if the person has got an illness that has troubled them for 10 years, it doesn't mean that you, are, you, you ever have the permission to charge them. And this is something that as Apostles of Muchinjikwa were so strongly against that if anyone no matter who they are no matter the circumstances have been found to charge people in order to pray for them then there's something that automatically disqualifies you as a prophet of our church so this is something that people should know and a lot of people go to muscle when you hear people getting charged thousands you hear people paying thousands of pounds in order to get prayed for and i'm just like th this is god god does not charge people because god does not allow people access because of how much money they have god is a god for everyone and he created everyone in his own image and he wanted everyone prophets for to help everyone not just those with money so this is also something that we really advocate for in Apostles of Machinjikwa that people should really know this and people should understand. But we understand and we appreciate that people need to have a living and obviously as a prophet you take a lot of your time out and you're praying and you're helping for people and yes you should be valued and also you should be compensated for that. That is true but we do it in the proper way of where we have tithes and then we take from there and then we move and then we work. So this is also how we should be able to get people in order to grow in that kind of way and then lastly i would just like to let people know that a prophet is not an all-rounder they're not someone who's going to solve every single problem they're not someone who's going to have every solution they're just someone who has been given a portion of god's work in order to do so even back in the days of the the starting of my soul and when I spoke about the three mountains and when people would go to this place, then it was where they would know that this prophet here sort of specializes in this kind of works, whether if it be like helping people who are going through a lot of mental illnesses or, you know, if it's someone who is struggling with education, if it's someone who wants to be helped so that like their livelihood can increase. There were certain prophets that they know that they would go to and there was like a referral system of which people would send other people to other people. No, go to this one, go to this person, go to her, go to him in order for you to get your problems looked at. And it was one way that as prophets of God, we are told that this not God kujijana so it means that yes you as a prophet and the holy spirit has given you all the power but we should also learn to appreciate other people as well and just by helping people to see the values of other prophets then it also helps the works of god in order to grow and in order to increase because you are showing love amongst yourselves as prophets and saying no you know what this person specializes in this one so they could really help you if it's about you wanting babies or you know you're struggling to have children they say kuchika then this is the person who has you know the power or the sp who specializes in that so this is also how as masowe people grew and how masowe we started in order to have this system of prophets 
So I hope today has been of some benefit to you. And I know a lot of people contact prophets. I know a lot of people just go to Masoi because they want to be prayed for by the, by the prophets. But I just wanted to give people a clear understanding on sort of the roles and the responsibilities of the prophets. That the prophets are there not as people to just pray for, for people, but they are also there as leaders. And they are also there to be used as viceroys of God. You know, in in Shona they say new meyangmari. So that is also what people should also realize that prophets are there as teachers, prophets are there as leaders, prophets are there as inspirations for the younger generation to know that the works of God must carry on. So I hope with that that this week's podcast has been of some benefit to you and will help you in your journey to getting closer to God. And with that I say be glory be to God.